So welcome to part two in setting up the macOS updater utility. So the next part is that we're going to build the script that we're going to deploy. So you can see here I'm starting here at the VMware samples GitHub page is always a great place to be. I'm going to click raw and I'm going to grab the script. Now the next thing that we're going to do here is you see here inside of UEM we're in the script section which is from resources scripts where we had add macOS. We're going to call this macOS data utility script. Gonna go next. Okay, so from here, we're gonna just check a couple things. We want it to be bash, correct? Execution context is system, correct? For the timeout, we're gonna change this to 330. Now for the code itself, we're just gonna pop it right in there. Nice and easy, right? No big deal. And so now we're gonna go next. Now here's the key here is we're going to add a bunch of variables. And so we get API URL, client ID, which is from that previous video, client secret, and token URL will be the last one. Now let's pop these in here. We got our API URL, our token URL, and I'm going to give you the link on where you how do you find your specific token URLs. And then to finish it up, we're going to pop in client ID, client secret, and hit save. Now the last thing that we're going to do here is just assign it out. So click on the button, click assign new assignment. We're going to call this all macOS devices. We're just going to do all devices. In theory, it doesn't really matter considering the fact that it's only going to work on macOS. We're going to hit run periodically. And then we just kind of pick whatever interval we really want to pick. Every four hours, I think, is going to be fine. But you can make it less frequent if you want. Then we're going to hit add. We're going to hit save and publish. And it's just that simple. And when we get back, we're going to do the next piece, which is creating that device profile.